This is your stimulus check update for Tuesday, May 19th. I'm testing this out. Steven Gardner and Clear Value Tax both say it's your stimulus check update at the beginning of every single video, and their videos get pushed and mine don't, so we're testing it out. Stimulus check update, stimulus package update, stimulus, stimulus, stimulus update. Welcome to those of you who already are subscribed. If you aren't subscribed, click the subscribe button below so I can bring you more quick financial updates. This stimulus update is an update of the Senate hearings that just finished with Jerome Powell and Secretary Steve Mnuchin. There are several bullet points that I wanted to go over through this. I try not to take either side. I try to stay in the middle and I hope that you guys appreciate that. Mnuchin warned several times throughout his hearing that permanent damage might occur if action isn't take, taken immediately to reopen the economy and get people back to work. This is a very right view with the Republicans and they really want the economy to open and to see the effects of it as it opens before they take another step. There's been lots of controversy over the loans that the Federal Reserve or Central Bank are to provide to small and mid-sized businesses because this money hasn't yet been given out to the businesses. It hasn't been lent. And Jerome Powell said that at the start of June, the Federal Reserve should be ready to lend out this money and so there were a lot of questions of why they hadn't and stuff and they had just said that they're trying to hammer out their processes and make sure that everything's in order so that they can lend that money. So over 4.2 million small businesses have already received loans and these loans are valued over $530 billion. Now these borrowers, this is part of the PPP plan, and the borrowers have to use this money within eight weeks. And this has proven very difficult with companies not even being able to be open during these eight weeks. And so Steve Mugin responded to this and he said, we'd like to get a bipartisan technical fix to this specific problem. So they want to fix the problem so that it's not just eight weeks. I would imagine that they're gonna expand that to many more weeks where the companies can spend that loan rather than just in those primary eight weeks. They've already made so many changes, they're gonna have to make more changes. Elizabeth Warren said to Secretary Steve Mnuchin these words, I quote, you're boosting your Wall Street buddies and you are leaving the American people behind. To which Steve Mnuchin said, we expect people to use their best efforts to support jobs. He's referring to a bunch of money that he was given to lend out to large companies. And what the Democrats are claiming is that the Republican Party has used this just to pad the pockets of their friends rather than using it to help people keep their jobs. And that's where he responded and said, we expect people to use their best efforts to support jobs. Can't really trust a kid in the candy shop, right? It's the same deal with this. I don't know that you can trust a business just giving them money and saying, well, hope you keep the jobs. I don't know. Not trying to lean either way. After which Steve Mnuchin said, I am following what was the exact letter and spirit of the law that we negotiated with you and others on a bipartisan basis. Next, a Republican senator, Senator Pat Toomey, basically said that the three, there's been about three trillion that's been allocated for stimulus and they've approved the Federal Reserve to do lend another three trillion, and so a total of six trillion out to help the economy and boost the economy. And what he's arguing is that only about half of that has actually been used and put out into the economy. And he's saying that we need to wait and see what that has an effect on the economy and what'll happen when that all is out there before they can act again. But Jerome Powell comes back and says, the question looms in the air, is it enough? Jerome Powell wants people to have stimulus checks. He wants the Congress to pass more stimulus money for the people. He believes that that needs to be done so that people have money, so that they spend it in companies, so that companies can hire more, so that the economy can be elevated and lifted. I believe there will be more stimulus checks. It's just a matter of time and how much. Go find something that makes you smile today and bring some light into your life. I hope that you have a wonderful evening and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.